What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I am back with another director's top five. Now, this is where I take a director, either by recommendation or just one that I like in general, and I go through their filmography, and I pick what my five favorite movies from that director are. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're always their best films. It's just the ones that I like the most. And your list might be totally different. So do let me know in the comments down below what your top five are for this director I'm going to be doing today. He is one Tony Scott. I already did his brother, Ridley Scott. And now I'm doing Tony Scott, who is a, in my opinion, a master of action films. I'm going to be giving you my top five. Now, before I do, if you would, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you go ahead and hit the bell icon. That way you get notified every time we drop new videos. And if you wouldn't mind, just give me a thumbs up down below if you like Tony Scott films or if you like these kind of videos. And again, leave a comment with your top five favorite Tony Scott movies. Here are my top five Tony Scott movies. Number five, a collaboration between him and someone who's on this list more than one time. I will just say that much. I feel like they had an amazing working relationship. They did what, five, six movies together. My number five is going to be Denzel Washington in Deja Vu. This movie is really good. I, I think it's underrated still. Like a lot of people don't always talk about this one when talking about not just Denzel Washington movies, but even Denzel Washington and Tony Scott collaborations. They've done, a, like I said, a number of movies together. And this one's really good. It has like a time travel element. So it's got a sci-fi kind of twist to it. Good cast, Val Kilmer is in this. Jim Caviezel, Paula Patton, Denzel Washington. I mean, it is a really fun oh bruce greenwood i forgot bruce greenwood was in this movie too so a really fun action sci-fi action thriller type movie right in tony scott's wheelhouse if you ask me all right next up is going to be revenge this is a kevin costner film it also stars anthony quinn and Madeline Stowe, who looks amazing in this movie, by the way. A story of Kevin Costner's character. He is like an Air Force pilot, and he has his good friend down in Mexico who happens to be like a gangster. And he has an affair with the gangster's wife, and bad things happen, and there's a lot of revenge in the movie on multiple people's parts. So, yeah, it is a, a really good movie. Kevin Costner is one of my favorite performances from him. I don't always think he gives the best performances, but I really like him in this. Anthony Quinn's pretty scary as an old gangster down in Mexico, and yeah, it doesn't have the, as much action as his other movies, but it has a really great story, and yeah, if you have not seen Revenge, do yourself a favor check it out. It's fantastic. All right. Next up, we got another one. Now, my top three, these are just all like 10 out of 10 movies for me. So I love all three of these. I would almost equally, but the number one is definitely way above the rest. And that's going to be Crimson Tide as my number three. Gene Hackman, Denzel Washington again. Amazing movie. Amazing movie. This has like it's not an again, not another one that's like just total action. However, even just the dialogue and the battle of wills between the two characters plays out like an action movie. It's like intense. The acting is amazing. I mean, two of the best actors, I think, of all time going head to head. Gene Hackman really, really brings it in this movie. Denzel, a little more low key than Gene Hackman, but both of them amazing. And of course, a Hans Zimmer score, Tony Scott's direction, Crimson Tide, a great movie. If you have not seen that, do yourself a favor. All right, my number two is going to be True Romance. This movie was one that I discovered later. Actually, the first time I ever saw it, I was in my 20s and I bought a DVD version. They had like this cool collector's edition DVD for it. And I bought that and I was like, what is this true romance? What a weird name. And the artwork didn't match what I thought it was going to be because of the title. All I knew was it said written by Quentin Tarantino. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me check this out. And man, I love, love, love this movie. Tarantino's writing, you know, he always writes his own scripts for his movies that he directs. But it's interesting to see a director, a different director take on his material. I think Tony Scott for this material was the perfect choice. It's very early 90s. Christian Slater, Rosanna Arquette is in this. Christopher Walken, Gary Oldman, amazing. Brad Pitt as a stoner, Michael Rappaport, uh, James Gandolfini. I mean, it just goes, uh, Dennis Hopper. It goes on and on. Amazing cast, a really, really good story. And at the end of the day, it is a love story. It's just surrounded by a lot of violent R-rated things. So a fantastic film. Again, if you have not seen True Romance, do yourself a favor, 
Although I think most people have seen it. And my number one, and this is just, I mean, uh, this is one of my top favorite movies, period, in my top 25 movies of all time, and that's going to be Man on Fire. Man on Fire is so freaking good. Denzel Washington, Dakota Fanning, and another one with like a Christopher Walken's in this too. A lot, a good strong cast, but the story here, this is so much, this is a remake of a, of a movie that stars Scott Glenn. And this movie is so much better than the original. Like, it's not even close. I watched the original after I saw this and I was like, this movie, I didn't really like it at all. This is the version. Denzel and Dakota Fanning have incredible chemistry. They almost have like a father-daughter type bond. And when things happen to her, Denzel's coming for them. And it's incredible. It's violent. It is very violent and I love it. Great action, great story, great acting. So that's my number one uh, Tony Scott movie. So again, my top five favorite Tony Scott films, there you have it. Deja Vu, Revenge, Crimson Tide, True Romance, Man on Fire. Those are my top five. Again, let me know down below what are your top five favorite Tony Scott films. And I will be back next week with another director's top five. I'm not sure what yet, but keep an eye out. Until then, take it easy.